one of the most frequently asked questions is somebody will come up to me and say, how do I lose this? What exercise do I need to do to lose my waist, the stomach, and get a six pack? Well, to be honest with you, there is absolutely no exercise that can help you lose this stomach. There's no one exercise. There's no piece of athletic equipment made that you can buy and that you can use for seven minutes a day or that you can rock around on that's gonna allow you to lose your stomach. It's diet. Diet is the only way to reduce the size of your waist. However, I will teach you about training the abs training the abdomen if you want to have a six-pack ab. First off, you have to remember that it's a muscle. It's a striated muscle, so it has a little bit more stamina and it needs a little bit higher repetitions. But giving that as it may be, it's also a muscle. So it does need some resistance. So you need to do some resistance training with it. Also, you want to do different things such as crunches. I like to do a, a slight twisting crunch because it helps to bring the abs in and flatten the abs. Um, depending on, yeah, on your age, um, you're going to show more abs or not. Um, I have some people say they, you know, I, I get my abs getting to where I want them to be. I have a little piece here, but then my face gets too thin. There's a trade-off there. Depending on where you are, you're going to get more gaunt in the face if you want to have better abs. Because what's happening is you need to drop the body fat. Body fat is a head to toe process. You can't spot reduce, you can't lose it in one spot. If you lose it here, you're gonna lose it here, you're gonna lose it here, you're gonna lose it here. So you have to say to yourself, okay, what do I, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna have really shredded abs? Do I want them more pronounced? If you want them more pronounced, you need to use a little bit heavier weights. You need, need to use more resistance. That way, you will, you'll grow the abs bigger and they'll show more. So when you reduce the body fat in the abs, then you're gonna, you're gonna show a, a better abdomen. Another thing also I wanna add is you want to watch out with these movements like this. I see people holding weights and going back and forth like this or doing these really big twisting movements. Now what's happening is you're training the obliques. When you train your obliques, the only way for them to go if you're successful at developing them is they're going to go outward. Not inwardly, they're going to develop, they're going to go outward. So what's gonna happen is you're going to thicken your waist. So remember, diet is the only way to reduce the size of your waist. Resistance and uh, high repetitions on the, on the abs to develop them. And I'll see you in the gym. On this segment, we want to talk about training smart. And training smart is training to avoid injury, uh, training efficiently to reach your specific goals in the shortest amount of time. I'm going to give you my philosophy on training. The basic element in making progress is intensity. It's not a matter of volume or duration, it's a matter of intensity. It doesn't matter how long you train or it doesn't matter how much you do when you're in the gym. If you're not providing a specific amount of intensity to the body, then you're not gonna make the gains that you want to make. Uh, for instance, if you do uh, curls, and you can use a 35 pound dumbbell and you can, you can do 10 reps with that 
35 pound dumbbell, you're delivering a certain amount of intensity to that muscle that it needs to, to progress and to change. Let's say you stand on one foot or you stand on a ball and you wanna balance yourself. Now what's happening is, now you can only handle maybe a 15, 20 pound dumbbell. And what's happening is you're diluting the intensity that you can deliver to that specific muscle. You're diverting the intensity through the entire body. You take the intensity level maybe from its 100% that you need to, to cause change in that muscle and then you dilute it down to maybe 25%. That's not efficient training. So what you need to do is you need to train each muscle individually. You need to, to concentrate the intensity on that muscle group and then finish it and move on to another one and then to another muscle group until you've completed your entire body. So train hard, train smart, train safe, and I'll see you in the gym.